There is a Korean proverb that says, when your cousin buys land, your stomach hurts. This means that you do not rejoice when someone close to you does well, but rather feel jealous and envious. There's a psychological term called schadenfreude that talks about jealousy in the exact opposite way. Do you know what it means? Schadenfreude is a German word that means the feeling of joy when seeing someone else's misfortune. This is an emotion that's closely related to jealousy and when people belittle and drag down someone they feel inferior and jealous of, the same part of the brain is stimulated as when they hear praise and they feel a stronger and more thrilling pleasure. People with low self-esteem in particular are said to experience Schadenfreude more often. When you feel this emotion, it may be thrilling at the moment, but it will make you fall deeper and deeper into a swamp of misfortune. I hope you keep your mind and heart healthy by listening to good music and thinking only good thoughts. So let's kick off today's hour on Radio Clock with 21's Dega Jay Jarnaga. I am the best.
Come on in, besties. Welcome back to Radio Clock Besties. It is September 19th, Thursday, and that was 21's Nega Jil Janaga. I am the best. I had to fight the urge to like stand up and run around everywhere, which is what usually happens when this song comes on. And it motivated me to finish this really quickly so I can have my hands free and dance to this song. Hello to all the besties joining us on the YouTube chat. Are any of you guys going to the 21 concert? If you are, super jealous of you, super, super jealous of you. Uh, Tigger Shears says, how are you today, Ash? Congrats on being featured on the cover of a magazine. That must have been exciting to see. Oh yeah, I realized I never talked about this, but it's like, a, um, what's it called? It's a radio, I mean, it's a magazine for radio stations. It's like an engineer slash technical kind of magazine. So it's not like a huge deal, but um, yeah, me and Radio Clock were on the front cover of that magazine last month. Last, last month? I forgot, but it's not for sale. It's just a magazine that they put in different broadcasting stations. And I just posted on my story. That's why our besties were like, oh, I saw that. Anyways, um, yeah, Tony asks, where can I get the magazine? You can't. You can't buy it, but I don't know. Maybe they'll have extra copies laying here. So if you come visit us, you could just take a copy. The magazine is called Broadcasting Engineers and Technicians Association Magazine. Associations Magazine. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The, like two months before my cover, Ihori was on the cover for her show Red Carpets. So I was like... Yes, if she was on it, I want to be on it too. Um, let's see, whose message do we have today? Um, it's from SaySaG, and SaySaG says, Hi Ash, how are you? I'm glad that you are posting many vlogs these days. Your videos always brings a smile to my face when I really need it. So I wanted to say thank you because your vlogs have given me an escape this past week, which I needed the most. Thank you for watching and enjoying them. I have started my shift at work and this time I am struggling with the jet lag and new environment. Usually I'm pretty good at jet lag, but not this time. It's my first time working in the mountains and the mosquitoes are horrible next to being the only girl working here, but at least my shifts have shortened from one month to only two weeks. After two weeks, I'll go again to my comfortable office, but the cycle will repeat. Hopefully I will go to the middle of the sea next time because I honestly love it even more there after only two days of working in the mountains. Only time will tell if I will survive the mountains. No, don't say that. Knock on wood. Wood right here. Um, I heard there are scorpions and spiders too. Pray for me. May I request a song Green by Pang Yongguk featuring Suvi. Thank you. Everyone gather your hands together and let's pray for Seiseiji to survive in the mountains. Um, I mean, at least there are no bears, right? I mean, are there? At least there are no da dangerous animals that could potentially, you know, attack you. Scorpions, spiders, you could just like step on them and they'll die. They're kind of powerless, you know, just think of it that way. You're so much bigger than them. Just carry a torch around and just oh wait no that's dangerous in the mountains um carry a bug spray <laughs> will that do anything scorpions do sound kind of dangerous if you see a scorpion run if you see a spider if, if you don't think it's deadly then just step on it what's the worst that can happen just eggs coming out of the spider that's not that bad yeah, but wishing you the best of luck. You have two, you did two days already. So it's only 12 more days, right? Out of the 14 days. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, Rick House says, bring a machete. Uh, Tigger Shears says, get yourself some natural bug repellent. Uh, Selena says, you will survive, babe. You will. I believe in you. All right. We're going to listen to CCG's song request, Pang Yongguk's Green featuring Suvi. And I'll be back with our guest, Teu. Baby, you my green. I'm not 
제게 돼도 돼 말해줘 너의 하루 난 저기 수많은 길 위에 난 아침 작은 쉼터가 돼줄게 슬픔 따위 떠나 보내 잠든 게이 넓은 세상에서 무엇보다도 아름다워 Don't you like a flower 그늘이 될 tomorrow 그저 네 등을 끊네 추억색에 동그라지만 이젠 알아서 You owe me now Baby you're my dream 내 하루의 안식 파란색 하늘이 더 줄게 계절 내내 너무 바로 볼수 있는 게 쉬운 일은 하나 오나 이젠 그게 돼 차가움에 뜨거운 내 피부가 닿아서 숨어버린 웃음 개피초록 새가 심었네 Dancing the stars every night 너에게로 falling 너에게로 falling 우리 닮아진 걸음걸이 나 이제 발짝 걸음걸이 주록색에 동그라지만 이젠 알아서 You owe me now Baby you're my dream 내 하루의 안식 파란색 하늘이 더 줄게 널 안아주랬어 Baby you're my dream 나의 유일한 신 오렌지 차에 닿던 너 Radio Clock airs on Arirang Radio at 3 p.m. KST every day. To listen to our show, download the Arirang Radio application from the App Store. If you're in the Jeju area, tune in to 88.7 in Jeju City, 88.1 in Seogipo City, 101.9 in the Taejung area. Or you can join our YouTube live stream on Arirang Radio K-pop channel. To watch the visuals on TV, tune in to Arirang TV at 2 a.m. KST from Tuesdays to Saturdays. If you missed the show, you can enjoy the radio rerun at 6 a.m. KST every day. Don't forget, there are also exclusive episodes at 3 p.m. KST on Saturdays and Sundays, only on radio. different musicians here on Music Lab. Today we have our guest who we've missed for a very long time. We have Teo back in the studio. Welcome! Hey guys, Woo-hoo! this is Teo back in the radio clock. Yo, what's up? What's up? It's been a while. It's been a while. Our besties are very excited to see you. Yeah. Geek Thiggy says, hey, it's <laughs> Teu. Say, say, G says, Teu, hey always hot in every color. <laughs> Leon says, still sad I didn't manage to see Teu while he was in Singapore, hopefully in the future. When were you in Singapore? Uh, I was in Singapore for two weeks in July. Oh, yeah. for like business or for For business vacation? and also I've uh, been to some radio show <gasps> Whoa. in Radio Corp. That's so cool. Yeah. You were featured on Singapore Radio? Yeah. Wow, good for you. So thank, thanks to all this, uh, you know, radio clock and all the experience with you. Yeah. It was really Aww. comfortable and easy for me to be on the show. That's yeah. awesome. Um, say, say, Jesus, the way I'm giggling and kicking my feet, I'm so happy to see Teo. You, there was no kind of this response for me. I'm kind of jealous <laughs> right now. I, say, actually, say, Jesus, yeah. like, oh, hi, Ash. And then Teo, <laughs> ah, Teo's here. 
I remember all my old friends' name. Remember all this? Yeah, nicknames, all yeah. of our old listeners, right? Yeah, yeah. Going like way back. Way back. Yeah, everyone's welcoming you. Always so, warm welcome. Thank you guys. Yeah, thanks for coming. Oh, we just had our Chuzok break. Yeah. Did you do anything special for Chuzok? Did you see your yeah, 20 right. nieces and nephews? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what yeah. did you do? I had a really, uh, really good time with my niece and nephews mm -hmm. and. Uh, my family, my dad, mm. and took a yeah, quiet, quiet, quiet enough rest with my family. <gasps> nice. You got some. You got to eat some good food. Yeah. <gasps> awesome. Always got fatter. <laughs> <after> <laughs> it's inevitable after Chuseok break, you yeah, know. Yeah. True, it's true. okay. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, you also sing, co did a collaboration with a Singapore artist. Yeah, Singaporean ah, artist. Yeah. That's how no you're. Name Kidir. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So this, when you like worked with him, was it everything was online? So actually, I've been to uh, I've been to Singapore last year, uh -huh. November, for business, uh -huh. and I met him there. Met his label, oh. and we uh, we planned for making a collaboration song with him, mm -hmm. and we worked together through uh, Telegram and all this online stuff. Oh, oh wow! And we released it, mm -hmm. but we didn't have any chance to uh, promote this song offline. Mm. But luckily, I had a chance to go to Singapore for business for mm -hmm. two weeks, and I got scheduled to be on the show and Ooh, yeah that's cool there. good <laughs> i'm hoping for more like international collaborations yeah, true, true. in the future true. uh it's been a year and four months since we last saw each other a year and four months yeah 16 months yeah really yeah it's wow. been that time flies i know time flies wow. uh has there been any changes like has there been a change uh. musically or just personally in your life I think only thing changes in my life is just getting busier and uh, there. Um, I'm actually this year as a musician. Mm -hmm. I'm I started this year with planning, uh, making an EP, mm -hmm. my first EP. I'm trying my best. Your first EP? Yeah, I only released singles. Really? About 14 singles. <laughs> so far, so I really gotta release some EP or album, uh -huh. full album. Yeah. So okay. I plan to release EP, but. I realized that if I'm gonna release, for example, like five songs, uh -huh. I need at least 15 songs, you know, <gasps> because I have to choose the best among it. So oh, um, yeah. I'm trying my best. Okay. EP. Do EP. you think it's gonna happen this year? If I, I think, I trust myself. If I try my best mm -hmm. to release this year. And probably in next year, early next That's year all. is okay, going to be possible. Yeah, yeah cuz this year is we only have less yeah. than 3 months. Three months. Wow. No. You can do it though. I mean no pressure. Yeah. I know you're super busy with like your business and yeah. stuff like that too, mm -hmm. which is awesome. Um let's talk about music. You mm -hmm. released a song called Cook in June. Cook. Uh this is the album cover. Yeah. Whoa. The green uh what is this called? Like the the light when you take uh, it in so the it's dark, a night cam, night cam, a night cam, kind of. Oh, yeah. you've you night like, vision, yeah, night vision, night vision, mm. night vision, camera or whatever. Yeah. That's you. A, yeah, it's me. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Tell us about cook. <laughs> what is the song about? This, this song is about a little. Um, so, I'm not sure. It, can I say it? Why? <laughs> the theme of this song is because little uh, adult. <laughs> um, so I, I'm trying to filter it. Okay, filter it. As I can. So um, <laughs> we have children watching here. So actually, all the answer is in in the lyrics. Uh huh. So um, you know, um, there's a there's someone you love. Mm -hmm. So this song uh, sending the message that uh, this time. I'm gonna cook you your your ingredients mm -hmm. this time. Blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yes. Okay. And tell us about the music video. Oh, this is actually my this is my home, my yeah. real home in Ichan. Oh, okay. Where I lived for 20 years. I thought you were like I thought like you lived outdoors. Yeah, this is the background of my. This is my school, oh, the, wow. the playground. Uh huh. And yeah, I'm holding a gun. So that that the the, the, the rabbit doll. Doll rabbit. Uh -huh. It's kind of my my girl. Oh. So I'm, I'm uh, hunting the uh, hunting the ingredients together. Oh, to feed your girl. Yeah. yeah. And 
Yeah. This is all the, the playground. Uh, the journey. Then oh. I'm trying to hunt some something that we can eat. <laughs> That's cute. Together. Was that the playground you grew up in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> it must have been meaningful. You know, growing really up there meaningful. and going yeah, back yeah. to film a music For video sure. there. Yeah. What is that? There, you have ostriches yeah, at ostriches. your home? I, actually, I didn't know it, but we were driving uh -huh. on the way, and you know, we found an ostrich. So. <laughs> We gotta film that so It's like a, a wild ostrich or someone's pet? Someone's pet, yeah. They have a pet ostrich? Yeah. That is so Probably cool. Probably for eggs, maybe. <gasps> they go for eggs. Tajo, tajo yeah. ostrich, yeah, ostrich eggs? Ostrich, yes. Have you tried them? No. Oh, wow. I wonder what they taste this, like. This, yeah, this is the the cross crosswalk that I uh, walk every every day. Who helped you film this? Oh, uh, there's uh, there's my friend named Chris, uh -huh. Chris Park. Uh -huh. He also, he was a... Uh, uh, director of my video of hit me up oh. and, and moon, moonlight uh -huh. stuff. he helped me this time so we we two went together to my home uh -huh. and we took it wow we good job us. chris park yeah chris park so cool i like this outfit too yeah this is uh Ah, do you know do you know Bangyok? Why is Bangyok book is from like sanitation? The 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 thing the that people the, the were during the co like COVID, COVID they yeah, were yeah, wearing yeah, yeah. it's literally that? Yeah yeah <laughs> wait I thought it was like an outfit. So actually in the in the music video there's a scene something like homage you the the American psycho. Oh so like chopping the chopping the the uh, the, the, the the food, I mean, like the ingredients, yeah, like, like animals, yeah, so, American Psycho with Christian Bale, right? Yeah, Christian Bale. Yeah. So kind of, this outfit is inspired by that. Yeah, yeah, inspired by that. Oh wow. Yes. Okay, Tigger Shiro says, "This is your stomping grounds." Wow. Yeah, stomping grounds. Yeah, this was his stomping grounds. Wow, that must have been fun. It was fun. It was, fun. Well, it was hard. Mm. It was really hard. Well, it came out great. So. It was really hot. Oh, hot. We took it like in late. June, uh -huh. it was really hot, but you know, as you can see, I was very not <gasps> You must have been sweating and vinyl, bullets. Vinyl, wow. And also that beanie, traps beanie, all the beanie heat. On my yeah, <laughs> dude. For my style. Oh my god. It was really hot. Well, it came out cute, so yeah. that's good. So it has nothing to do with actually cooking. Uh, I mean, I thought I was gonna ask you all these like cooking questions because I thought you had gotten into cooking. Yeah, throw me some questions. I mean, yeah. like, have you been cooking? I'm really a good cook, I think. Really? Yeah. These days. What 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 is your most confident type like cuisine? Is uh, it like Korean? So um no, not Korean. Oh. Korean is I think the most difficult cuisine. <gasps> what? Yeah. You just need samjang and garlic and I mean like the most of the Korean cuisine is uh uh you know uh the soup, you know, soup mm -hmm. jjigae. Mm -hmm. It's really hard for me to make it. Oh. But what I'm doing the best is uh uh kind of uh, grilling something. Oh. Like steaks Ooh. or pasta, <gasps> like pasta Italian or, food, and also Japanese. I really like Japanese, so uh, I make some uh, uh, futomakis <gasps> and some, you know, make sushis. Your own like roll. Yeah, yeah, roll. Yeah. Oh, but futomakis are like huge. They're like huge, fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can make those. Yeah. Oh. I put some tuna and salmon and some all the vegetables wow. together. Okay. I serve. I serve to the friends who visit my uh, who visit my new house. Oh, there is this uh, competition, cooking competition program going on on Netflix right now. Do you know about it? Oh, I think I saw the teaser. Mm -hmm. But I don't like Baek Joon. Yes, yes, yes. Sir yes, Baek Joon yes. is in there, yeah. right? Sir Baek Joon. Sir Baek Joon. Sir Baek Joon. Sir Baek Joon. He's a Sir, <laughs> sir Baek Joon. <laughs> you haven't watched sir. it, right? Yeah, I haven't watched it. You watch it? No, I'm going to, though. I think, you, I think it's going to be fun. Do you want to ever compete in something like that one day? No, not really. <laughs> Not on that level yet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think, you know, do you know Choi Gang, Choi Gang Nook from MasterChef Korea? Mm -mm. Okay, let's pass it. Why? <laughs> it's really a charming character in the MasterChef Korea. Uh -huh. I hope there is going to there to be uh, some character like him oh. in that new show because mm. it's just really interesting. Anyway. All right. What's his name again? Choi Gang Nook. Choi Gang Nook? Yeah. Okay, I'll look him up. <laughs> All right, Teo. Well, it's time for a live performance. Yep. And I'm guessing you are going to sing your latest song? Yep. Okay. Cook. Cook with an exclamation mark. Um, is there something you want us to focus on while listening? Oh, uh, I think if I try to explain mm -hmm. deeply about the lyrics, then it's going to be... Censored. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll just, so just, we'll just it, listen okay? and interpret it our own way. Yeah. Okay. It's up to you. It's up to us. Yeah. Okay, Teo, are you ready? 
Oh, have a so have a sip of water. Yeah, have a sip of water. Okay, uh, we have some messages for you that we're gonna read after the live. Uh, if you haven't had the chance to send in your message or your question yet, you can still do so on the send message board or on the YouTube chat. All right, Teo, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, this is Teo's cook. Morning and the sun making salt inside a baby. Afternoon we cruise. You can taste me on my music. Different times, different quizzes, different nights, different quizzes. Now we got evening and the moon. Tell me something, make you starving. Wanna make something new for you? So I learn from the YouTube videos. Just tell me what you want. Cause this time, you're my ingredients First thing I need in the morning I just got my to the morning Last night had a dream about it Oh, let me start it I will never, never fully catch it What your delicate appetite is Probably I don't have to know about it Cause every time you let me know how you feel it Just stare on the moon Until it turns into sun, babe while I make you fall, making sun inside a baby. Afternoon we cruise. You can taste me on my music. Different times, different quizzes, different nights, different kisses. Now we got evening and the moon. Tell me something, make you starving. I'll be caught in the night If you don't let me go Time has fallen If you be starving again Morning dew from the groom All the time giving me Kim and June When I look at you The song in the mood Is your voice Just a noon I want to sleep in the night First thing I need in the morning I just got my to see in the morning Every night ever dream about it Oh, let me start it just stare on the moon until it turns into sun, babe. While I make you fall, make a sunny side of baby. Afternoon we cruise. You can taste me on my music. Different times, different quizzes, different nights, different kisses. Now we got evening and the moon. Tell me something, make you starving. that that was cook by Teu live in the studio such a nice chill song like you know easy listening nice to enjoy mm -hmm. good job this is this is kind of song i'm trying to write these days that's, that's the type of song it's kind of diff kind of different mm. from my old songs isn't yeah, it? yeah 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 it is i like it <laughs> i do yeah um jesus okay Teu, i see you eating your singles for breakfast nothing to beat his vocal color <laughs> Geek Diggs is the second time hearing the song, and I paid attention to the lyrics. Tell you, little devil. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sukasa says, Sir, a rusky and sexy voice. You got a new fan. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is the this is the first name. Tsukasa. Tsukasa. Yeah, Sukasa. Yeah, Tsukasa. says, 목소리가 감미롭고 노래가 펑키하고 신나서 좋네요. Thank you. Uh, Tigerish Eo says, Tao has cooked up another hot track for us <laughs> to enjoy. Bahar says, you. golden voice. Selena says, he cooked it up. He really did. All right. Uh, we have some messages for you. Okay. First one is from Leon, who says, Hi, Teo. Not sure if you remember me, but I have been silently supporting you since your pre-debut days. And I remember I was so happy when I found out you will be appearing on Ra Arirang Radio. 
I made sure to try to tune in and send in messages whenever you make an appearance since I just love your passion when talking about your music. Love you always and continue making good music because you are so talented. Since you have mentioned before you make music to be a positive influence, I must let you know you are my role model. I love that you are so hardworking and give your all in everything you do. As a Singaporean, I'm so proud of the collab on your single with Kadir. Wow. Kadir. Kadir. Hope Kadir. you can perform here one day and I'll definitely be there to support you. Anyway, have you been to Singapore a few times for work? What's your impression of the country? And is there anything you want to try doing when you're here next? Next time, really hope to meet you in the future. Thank you so much, first of all, because this message reminds me all the all, all of my uh, direction of my life and the faith I had when I started starting my music. Because mm -hmm. I think sometimes, you know, when you're uh, focusing on something else too much, you uh, you forget you forget about the things what what I thought at the first time. Thank you so much for reminding me of all the things. And Sing in Singapore, I think Singapore is a really good country these mm -hmm. days, especially. I think most most comfortable and convenient country in Asia, for sure, mm -hmm. these days. I think, yeah, almost as much as Korea, or sometimes it's, be it's, more, it's better. Oh, better to I leave. haven't been. Yeah. Only one, uh, uh, one thing is uh, one thing I always uh, kind of suffered is the the, 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 the the temperature oh. of the countries. It's always hot and warm. Uh -huh. But I think, you know... Was it humid too? Yeah, it's humid because it's, surra mean, it's surrounded by the by the ocean. Mm. I mean, Korea was really humid this year too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's a Singapore is uh, more like a small peninsula. It's, uh, mm -hmm. So it's, it's humid and it rains so randomly. Oh. Like, like British, I think, uh -huh. like UK. Oh. <gasps> Rains or so randomly. So if you see the broadcast, you know, broadcast of the Singapore, mm -hmm. most of the days are rain. Really? But in fact, probably like one or two days are actually raining, but always possibility due to rain. Ah. So and I think maybe next time I visit Singapore is gonna be this year mm -hmm. for for business maybe. <gasps> because my our our major partner is in Singapore. So ah, um, I see. Who you sound like a businessman. <laughs> my major partner is in yeah. Singapore. Uh, did you try Singaporean chili crabs? For sure. Oh my god, yeah. I heard it's so good. Chili crab? Yeah, it's good. I think crab itself is really delicious. Uh huh. But that sauce. You, ha you have to, uh, you have to uh, what is that? stir your, stir the rice in the sauce. Ooh, and mix it that up. That is the key, <gasps> I think. It's what? like kind of like yeah. 한국에서 간장 계란 Yeah, 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 yeah exactly, 간장 exactly. 게장에 밥 비벼 먹는 그런 거. I don't know why all the people in the world trying to, you know, trying to put some rice and mix it when they're eating crab. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know, because we yeah, have so. that little, uh, their shell as the dish, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. to put the uh, pop in, yeah, the yeah. rice in and mix. <gasps> I'll, I can't wait to try it one yeah. day. Um, another message from CCG says, oh, this is going to be long. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm saying this. Hi, Teo. Welcome back. You have no idea how excited I am for your return. I heard you were coming back to Arirang a few months ago, and I have been waiting every week since then, hoping I could see your name appear. Finally, this week is the week. Congratulations on your 12th single. I'm trying to do her excitement justice. Um, your songs always have a hold on me, so it's obvious that I am over the moon and in love with any song you release. And all I have to say is keep them coming. An album soon, I hope. Also, congratulations in advance for your busking performance coming up very soon. I'm so jealous that I can't witness your performance in person, but I'm excited to welcome the new fans who will hear your voice and immediately be enchanted. I don't want to be too long because honestly, I can write a book of how much you mean to us, but I will ask you just one question. Can you name a song that you think reflects your journey as the multi-talented all-rounder and fun-loving Teo? And can you tell us why you chose that song? Always wishing you the very best with all my heart. Please take care of yourself until we meet again wow say say g <laughs> our old friend i yeah. still remember her name and actually when i'm on the show uh hosted by samuel say say is always there <gasps> Aww, <laughs> saying a message. So supportive. And, and i'm still remembering that she's working on a kind of a ship vessels yeah she, she travels was. all around the world and now she's in the mountains Mountain, surrounded yeah. by scorpions take care, take care and always. deadly spiders, <laughs> yeah, deadly spiders. <laughs> yeah. i heard that when i was in there you you advise her to like step 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 yeah. on the spider we we could kill spiders we're so much bigger than spiders what okay. can she do you have advice for her i think like if, if it's not a toxic spider mm -hmm. you don't have to kill the spider you don't have to you know yeah we don't but have to it, kill they the said spider. it's she said it's deadly 
It's deadly. Yeah. Just run. What yeah, would you I do? Think, you know, the, the, the feeling of step on the spider is going to be really terrible. So Just wear that suit that Teo was wa- wearing in his music <laughs> video. I think I would just cover myself up from head to toe, yeah. make sure they can't get in, yeah, yeah, yeah. and just <laughs> hope for the best. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, her question was... Uh, uh, the song mm-hmm. that can reflect uh, my my life my lifestyle uh, yes. direction now um, <sighs> it's hard it's hard <laughs> 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 I think uh, I would choose um, among my songs um, yeah I would say my first song pause mm. pause because you know I think my life itself is always. Uh, heading forward to something mm. and I'm, I'm really trying my best to uh, focus more on the process rather than uh, results mm-hmm. uh, but still I think in my life the most important thing is having moments that maybe later in the future that I want to that I want to that I can rewind like um, rewind like a video so uh, uh, pause the song itself meaning that it means that uh, let's keep special moments like a video and come back whenever I want so uh, yeah pause pause all right I really like that song <laughs> I still really do yeah. um, you released a song called Rosie in March Rosie yeah who's Rosie Rosie yes who's Rosie Rosie uh, Rosie is a bad woman oh she's a bad girl yeah he's not, actually is that a uh, uh, real ex- existing person, mm-hmm. but I just wanted to write a song about the bat woman. It's not a bat woman. You sound like you're saying bat woman. Not like bat. Batman. Bat it's not woman. A bat woman. It's a <laughs> bad girl. Yeah. Bad. Bad female. I, bad it's, lady. It's hard to say it's a bad woman, but uh, this whole song is about the couple and the process of breaking up. Mm. So the the main melody is. Uh, Oh, ah, baby, when you look in my eyes and my heart gets broken apart. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it means, you know, the song. Baby, don't, not just all this. Nigga, want, I'm going to go to the house. And then next. Narto, 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 Think about what we've been through, yeah. So let's jab at you, the baby, yeah. Oh, ah, baby, when you look at my eyes and my heart gets broken apart. You should have just sang this song live for us. Yeah. You basically <laughs> sang half of the song. Why didn't you sing this song live? I just for wanted us. to. I just wanted to explain the the, the yeah. message. Uh huh. I had to sing mm. a, a part of it. So, yeah, this song is about the the, the, the couple and the mm. process of breaking up. So the the, the man is trying to. Uh, convince her let's just you know let's get over this time let's mm. you know give me give me one more chance mm. but they're on a trip but <gasps> he feel he already realized that this trip is gonna be their last trip oh my gosh no yeah. <gasps> is it based on real experience nope nope just pure imagination if it is nope <laughs> even if it is <laughs> even if it is nope, nope. that's your always no nope. <laughs> no nope. no nope. um this doesn't have a music video yeah. But if you could make a music video, yeah. how do you want to film oh. it? Have you thought about I that? I think it's uh, in an old Mustang car. <gasps> Ooh. There's a couple. Mm-hmm. The, the man is uh, trying to s- sing a lot of things. He can sing. And the, the, the girl is uh, looking at li- looking outside the window. Mm-hmm. And just like, there's a soulless face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah. If you could pick like a female actress to play yeah. this rosy girl, this Napunyaja, yeah. who would you want to have? Ooh. Ideal casting, and choose the male artist to cho- male actor too. Unless you want to okay, do okay. it. Okay, okay, I, I decided. Okay. Oh, it is a perfect casting <gasps> for this song. Let's hear it. For for the female uh, actress. Uh huh. Han Soo Ah. It's gonna be perfect. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Her yes. cold face. Uh huh. Wow, it's uh-huh, gonna be perfect. Uh-huh. And the, the for the guy, Cheo Shik. Cheo Shik. Uh huh. Do you know Cheo Shik? Of course I know Cheo yeah, Shik. Yeah, the the Cheo Shik because there's a there's a music video called Congratulations by Day Six. Yeah. On that music video, Cheo Shik is kind of dumped by that woman mm-hmm. who cheated. Oh. So it was really impressive. 
Ah, okay. Yeah, so I think Cheoshiki is going to be Ooh, perfect for that. That's not a like a pair that I have I- thought of, but it could work. Yeah. It could work. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, then let's take a listen to that track, uh, Rosie by Teo. That was Rosie by Teo. Everyone's saying how time flew. Where did 40 minutes go? Post Teo appearance, depression is coming. You still have him for like another 10 plus minutes. So okay. enjoy it to the fullest with us. Uh, we talked about music and I want to know how you've you know been just like as a person, Teo. Yeah. What's been on your mind the most these days or is there any new hobby that you picked up oh i'm just these days uh i recently made a, a mandarat planning uh planning stuff what is that mandarat planning is a there's a uh, i mean like one two three four five six nine multiplies nine squares oh uh-huh. so in the center is uh, your uh ultimate goal that you want to achieve in your life oh and around it the nine nine squares mm-hmm. and uh, sub goals <gasps> for that ultimate goals uh-huh. and you move all those sub goals to the next square uh-huh. and set the, all the all the components that you need to achieve the goals so we call them under that planning planning table chart table? chart table okay. yeah <gasps> oh wow it's very it got, yeah it got famous because you know otani shohei uh-huh yeah he Yo, uh, Otani uh, made this kind of mandarat planning table when mm-hmm. he was in high school, but probably. So uh, it was really impressive. <gasps> so I recently made it. Oh. And among those components, I recently added uh, something about my uh, exercising because you know I rarely do exercise. So um, mm. there's a there's a there's a uh, very important goal for my health. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, know as i getting older i think you know i think i gotta take care more about health yes goals. of course um if i'm not prodding can yeah. i ask you like what other goals are there so Some uh, goals that you can share oh yeah so there's a uh, luck 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 how how do you set luck as your goal like you want to so be example, lucky um, 
helping travelers, uh-huh. helping elders, elderly, oh. old people, and um, saying how I'm thankful to the others mm-hmm. as ha- habitually, mm-hmm. or um, you know, and uh, picking up some trashes if you see them, oh. kind of stuff. All those, all those trivial behaviors mm-hmm. can, you know, can make the luck kind of kind of you. Oh. So we cannot plan the luck, uh-huh. but I I trust myself as luck is about the attitude. Mm. If you're ready to get, you're ready enough to see the chance of luck, then you can get it, get it better than the others. Oh wow! So. Great mindset you have. Yeah. So yeah. all those components are focusing on the setting up those attitudes, helping those attitudes. Mm. I feel like a lot of our listeners might be intrigued by this. Um, mm. How can they find this like chart? Oh, you can search uh, search on the internet. Google the Mandarat planning. Oh, yeah. All right. It seems like a very good way to plan. Yeah, you know really your good. life. Are you a J? Your MBTI is J, right? I'm actually ENTP. You are? Yeah, hundred percent E, hundred. And 100 T P, but ever since I started my business, you know P becomes J J J. J. <gasps> but you're a hundred percent T. I didn't think of you like that. Oh, really? Yeah. So what a compliment. For me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that? A lot of people tell you like you're a true T. My friends call me a sociopath. <laughs> really? <laughs> what? We did sorry. not get that you know, at all. Because most of my best friends are uh-huh. ENTP. They're T, so. There are no much apps around oh, me. So. Wow. <gasps> the, they, they, I think the, the biggest characteristic feature of the, all those T's or ENTPs mm-hmm. is, our, uh, is they don't care about the MBTI. Yeah. They don't, they, they don't want to know about others' MBTI. <laughs> they don't care. They don't care. Oh. <gasps> so. He's an ENTP. Yeah, I'm ENTP. I didn't think you were. Anyways, yeah. um, so what is your like daily schedule like these days? Um, I go to work, uh-huh. finish my work. What time? You have like a nine to five? No, oh. um, I usually go to work around 10 uh-huh. and finish my work. I'm trying to finish my work at six. Oh, wow. Okay. And I go home, mm-hmm. have some dinner. Uh-huh. And I come back to my office at <gasps> around nine, 10 uh-huh. and make music. I'm oh. using my in my office. So. So today you skipped work for us. Yeah. Oh wow! Thank you. Actually, my uh, <laughs> all of my teammates, uh-huh. my office is watching this. Uh, actually, you're the boss, right? So, you could just like, yo, no, peace out. No. Yo, I'm gonna uh, be. They are the boss. I'm just. Uh, you're the boss. I'm just. Uh, you're just. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, just a slave. <laughs> no, you're not. You are the you're the it's man like, in charge, what, what, aren't you? Why 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 they why the or the, the antonym of the <laughs> boss is a slave? You are. I don't know. You're so dangerous, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks yeah. for making time for us. Tony says you're sociopaths welcome. are cool. Really? Okay. Thank you. All right. <laughs> no, just two. If actually, you know, if actually, and radio clock, everyone is calling me. I gotta be here. Oh, thank you. If it's not a family business or something, <laughs> <it'll be here>. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, yes. we understand. You're not gonna, anyways. Um, no, never mind. <laughs> uh, and then, do you have any hobbies that you've been into? I mean, it sounds like you don't have time for hobby, anything else. Um, oh, one of the thing. It's not about the hobby, but I really want to share this uh, this news uh-huh. with my old friends and you. Mm. Do you remember my pet, yeah. the turtle? Yeah. Is now not in my home now. Did you send it back to your hometown? No, mm-hmm. I sent her uh-huh. to my sister's house in oh. Daegu. Oh, Because there are, there are my nieces, right? Uh-huh. So they're like 12 and 10. So I thought it's going to be emotionally helpful for them if they raise turtle. Mm. So I yeah, sent Gangsik to Gangshik. my sister. Oh, and, and also, there's you know, not much time I stay in my home, so... Mm. Lack of time to take care of her, so I was always feeling sorry. That's so probably better for Kang Sik. Yeah. You can go visit her from time to time, right? Yeah. Oh. I think she lives way better when she was with me. Probably because the, the, there's uh, more people to watch after Yeah, all, her. The, all, all the surroundings, all the cages uh-huh. and, uh, you know, all the surroundings 
out way better mm. because my brother-in-law is really uh, really kind of otaku in some kind of stuff so uh-huh. she already uh, joined the Gobung Mam Cafe <laughs> 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 she's a premium member what? already there's yeah. a cafe like a like a thing for Raising, turtle moms yeah turtle. the turtles or you know reptiles oh yeah Wow, he like digs yeah, he and he digs makes sure to like things. know yeah. Yeah. everything. <gasps> oh, okay, she's in good hands. Yeah, yeah. Mm, all right. Well, um, it's almost time to say goodbye. Wow, time flies mm, already. Time does fly. Uh, do I think I can, if like, time is enough, I can sp- like, you know, speak more than three hours with you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Three hours is kind of long. <laughs> 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 Just kidding. Um, is, do you have anything coming up? Oh yeah, my uh my next single is gonna come out on October second. <gasps> That's so soon. Yeah. It's like in two weeks. Yeah. Oh wow. A song called Window. Window. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> probably <laughs> look forward to it. Yeah, if you guys look forward to it. Okay. Please listen to it a lot, stream a lot. It's window. Spotify. Window. Right. Okay. Do you know what's the meaning of it? One plus one equals window. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what is that? What window is means it? like uh, you're my window. Uh huh. So I see all the things in my life through you. Oh. Oh. Draw me a little star on the window. Mm-hmm. Show me all the you know morning sunshine and stuff. Okay, that's very sweet. Yeah. All right, and hope well, hopefully the next news we hear from you will be about an EP. Yeah, I'll try my best. Yeah. We'll be looking forward to it. Uh, Leon says, thanks for inviting Teo back on Radio Clock. Yay, looking forward to your new single. Um, Tigushir says, thank you for coming, Teo. Please take care and visit more frequently. Seriously, not after a year and six months or something. Wow, that was... So far. Really, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for coming. Thanks we'll for inviting. see you again soon, hopefully. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to say bye with our last song, Moonflower by Teo. And we'll see you next time. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, Bye. guys. You never call me in the daylight. Probably the last thing on your list now. It's too often he makes you cry. But I like it if you're down, down. You're the only thing I have now. But only capable when sun goes down. I'll be a honey till the morning. Before that, I'm gonna leave, don't you worry. Baby, we've been Chopping all the house, man. 